Hi YouTube and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to share some Instagram Reel hacks with you that you may not know about. We're going to talk about hacks including how to add voiceover to your reels if you want to film something that doesn't involve you speaking to camera but you want to do a bit of a voiceover, a bit of narration for a reel. We're also going to talk about a really fun hack that I like to use to make sure that the text is in the right place on my Instagram reel before I publish it so that I make sure that nothing is cut off when the Instagram reel is then shared on my feed. And finally, I'm going to share a hack with you for helping you to come up with a constant supply of ideas for your Instagram Reels. Just before we get into the good stuff, don't forget that I have made a bunch of other videos about Instagram Reels. This video here talks you through really the basics of how to make an Instagram reel step by step. And this video here shares my very best tips with you to optimize your Instagram Reels for success so that you give yourself the best shot at performing really well, at getting lots of views and getting lots of engagement. So don't forget to check out those videos after this one. But now, without further ado, let's jump into hack number one. So you may want to create an Instagram reel that is a behind the scenes, or maybe it's a tour of your workspace. Whatever the reel is, it will involve filming things that don't have your voice, that don't have you speaking face to camera. However, then when you want to go and share that reel, you think, well, this reel would really benefit from me doing a bit of speaking over the top, doing a bit of a narration, a bit of a voiceover. So how do you do that? So open up the InShot app and then click on Video and New, and then scroll through to find the video that you want to add a voiceover to. So I am just gonna select this one as an example, and I'm gonna open it up. And this is definitely not optimized for Instagram, but you get the idea. So this is my boomerang that I made. So I will go to click the music button. And just before I click record, what I do is I make sure that I have navigated to the right section of the video that I want the voiceover to, to start at. You might not want your voiceover to start right from the beginning of the video. You might want it to start halfway through. In this case, I want it to be right at the beginning. So I navigate to the beginning and then I click record and it will give me a countdown. Having fun in the hotel. I click stop and then I go to check how that sounds. Having fun in the hotel. And that looks good, so I'm gonna click plus and that saved it down and you can see it here. Having fun in the hotel. And what I could do is I could then go and record more audio for the second half of this video, or I could hold my finger down on this audio, drag it if I realize that I don't want it to start straight away. So that is how you film a voiceover for your Instagram reel. Maybe my favorite hack of all because it's so easy to do and it's just a great way of checking that everything is in the right place on your Instagram reel. This is the hack to make sure that all the text and your face and everything is in the right frame so that when your Instagram reel is shared onto the feed, it isn't going to get cut off. Because remember, you may make your Instagram reel in the same dimensions as a story, but the preview of your Instagram reel is going to get shared in a four by five, four by five or five by four, I'll put the right dimensions on the screen. That is the preview that your reel is going to be shared and shown on the Instagram feed. So what that means is, is you want to bear that in mind when you're filming and making your Instagram reel. Because if you are filming face to camera and your head is at the very top of the screen, the frame, or the text that you add as overlays, again, is at the very top or the very bottom of the frame, it's going to get cut off when it's previewed to people in the feed. And that sometimes means that the context is missing of a reel. People won't see everything, they won't see the text, they won't see you, you'll be cut off. And it's going to harm the engagement on that reel. It's gonna mean that less people are going to click on it to actually view the full entire reel. And the way that you can test this is to first save the reel that you have made, that you're planning to share, save it down to your gallery, go to your Instagram app, and press the little plus icon when you're looking at your account in the top right hand side of the screen as if you were going to go and share a feed post. So click on feed post and then scroll down to click on your most recently saved reel. 
and you will see that it will play and it will give you a preview. Now, what you do is you click the two little corner arrow frame icon on the bottom left hand side and that will give you the preview of that reel in the four by five dimensions the same dimensions as people are going to see it on their instagram feed so if you look at that and you see okay my face is in frame all the text is in frame then perfect your reel is good to go and nothing is going to get cut off if however you do this little preview test and you see that things are cut off and things are missing and out of frame that means that you need to go back and re-edit that reel to make sure that everything is in within the right frame and it's not going to get cut off. This is part one of two. So part one of this hack is to use Pinterest to your advantage. Go to Pinterest, type in your niche or industry or focus, plus the word tips into the Pinterest search bar and have a look at the most popular content that surfaces. This will give you a good idea of what kind of thing your dream customer, client, follower is searching for and the kind of content that is getting the most engagement. This is a really great way to get a whole bunch of ideas, at least for the kind of educational tips based real content that performs really well on Instagram. And the second part of this hack is to use your Instagram insights. If you head to the insights section of your Instagram app and you filter your metrics, you filter your content by the last three months and you have a look at the following metrics, saves, shares and comments. See what content has performed best for those individual metrics. This will tell you the kind of content that your unique followers are already loving and that will serve as really great inspiration for content that you can repurpose and turn into new, fresh Instagram Reel ideas. So just to give you an example of this in action, this is one of my recent really well-performing static carousel posts. Stop saying this in your captions, where I talk about the importance of not always saying in your captions, check out the link in my bio. It did really well at the time of record, it got 78 saves, it got a whole bunch of shares and because currently with Europe arguing with Facebook over data privacy laws, I can't actually see my shares for this post, but I do remember because I track my insights really closely that the shares on this post were really good. I believe they were somewhere in the 20s or 30s. So I looked at this and I thought, well, I could turn this into an Instagram reel. And then I did just that. I tweaked it slightly, but the premise of the post was still there and served as inspiration for this Instagram reel. Maybe you want to have one song and then another song within one reel, or maybe you want to have a certain track playing and then you want to cut to you speaking or making some kind of funny noise. Again, this is totally possible to do inside of InShot. So I am inside of InShot and you'll see that I have got two different video clips that I've lined up one after the other. So this is gonna be my reel. Now I want to add some music for the first section of this reel. But what I'm going to do is I want to use a piece of music, a piece of audio that is from somewhere else. So what you could do is you could screen record a YouTube video that features a song or a track that you want to use. And I'll show you how you can then extract the audio from that recorded YouTube video. So what you would do is you would click on music, tracks, extract audio from video, and then you could locate and select the video, the screen recording that you made of that YouTube video. So I did this exact same thing, except I recorded my screen for a reel that I made before. And this is the audio that I want to extract. So I'm gonna click tick, extract the audio, and I'm going to drag it to the beginning of that clip. So there it is. So you'll see that InShot has pulled the audio from that other video, that screen recording I made, and has added it into this video. So I'm gonna click tick, and what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to shorten this clip so that it doesn't take up quite as much of the video. And then what I want to do is I want to film a voiceover of me making a funny sound. 
And this is because this reel is going to be Monday versus Friday, a week in the life of an entrepreneur. So I'm going to start with the fun. I'm ready to go, ready and raring. And then I'm going to be really, really stressed. So I'm going to click music. I'm going to move to the second half of the video and I'm going to click record and I'm going to do a noise. Ah! So let's press tick and then let's listen. So that is how you can add different tracks, different audio, different sounds into one reel. My next hack is how to make a really engaging cover image for your Instagram Reels. Now with Instagram Reels, of course, when you go to make and then you're about to share that Instagram Reel, you can just use the cover image that Instagram will pull from that Reel. So what usually happens is that Instagram will select a cover image from the beginning of the Instagram Reel footage that you've made. And so if you are pulling a good expression, if you are in the right proportions of the Instagram reel, your head isn't gonna get cut off and no text is going to cut off, then you could use that cover image that Instagram pulls through. However, to keep within your overall branding, to make sure that that cover image is as engaging as possible, I really recommend you create cover images specifically for your Instagram reels. And the best way that you can do that is using Canva. So let me take you behind the scenes using my desktop to show you how I make and prepare all of my Instagram Reel covers using Canva, my favorite, favorite tool to do this. So when you're inside Canva, what you can do is, first of all, just make sure that inside your brand kit, you have all of your brand colors selected and ready to go. And then what you can do is if you jump up here to the right hand side and click on create a design and select Instagram story because they are the same dimensions as a real cover. If you click on that, then you can start to design your unique Instagram real covers. You can make the background your one of your brand colors, which are all saved here ready for you to go or you can use a photo of yourself, upload that and make that the background of your real cover like so obviously this is not optimized for the dimensions of a real cover so I would have to really stretch it full but you really want to make sure as we've said earlier you want to make sure that you are bearing in mind the framing and that if there is going to be an image of you that it does fill the middle third of that real cover so that it doesn't get cut off so let me show you some examples of real covers that I have made before. So as you can see, I've got lots of different selections here. It's a great idea to test and learn different designs to see what resonates best with your audience. So you can see that I've got some that look fairly simple with the big bold numbers. I have used a striped background in some of them. I have used a colored circle to really make the title, the name of the real bold. I've tried out a few different formats. I've also tried real backgrounds with me as the background. Again, like I said, making sure my face is in the middle section and any text I have is in the middle as well so it doesn't get cut off. So that is how you can create really unique Instagram Reel covers using Canva. So that's all for this week's video, guys. That is all for the Instagram Reel hacks. I hope you enjoyed it. I realized that I didn't cover that many hacks in this video. So if you have any more questions about Instagram Reels in particular, then do drop them in the comments below and I can always make a follow-up video to this one and Instagram Reels Hacks Part 2 if there are other tips and tricks I find or that you're asking me questions about that I can make a video talking all about. Don't forget before you go to download my free Instagram Stories guide. It is 30 days worth of Instagram Story prompts and scripts. It's amazing if I do say so myself. It takes the headache out of knowing what to share on Instagram stories. It makes it so easy for you, which is especially useful if you're trying to up your Instagram real game and you're finding that you have so many other things on your plate, like Instagram stories as well. Let's take the headache out of it. Download that guide. You can get it in the description box below. Just before I sign off, don't forget to check out this video before you go, which is my Instagram Reel tutorial step-by-step. Step. I also talk about editing Reels using InShot within that video. And this video here, which is my top tips to help your Instagram Reels do really well and maybe go viral. I will see you next week for a brand new video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.